What's going on, Internet? Eric Van Oltz here, founder of Beard Brand, and today I am going to go look at the past, Eric Van Holtz, and throw out a little bit of criticisms and maybe uh, talk about how my style has evolved over the years. Let's begin. All right, guys, I have pulled up on my screen, you'll see right here, some videos. I've called out about 15 videos where my style has changed over the years. And I kind of want to talk about what I was doing in that style phase of my life and maybe critiques that I'd have for myself if I could go back in time. But you'll see here, I've started from the bottom of our videos. And uh, we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to go to the most recent and I ultimately end up talking about my hair here. So let's go to the very first video and pull this up. This is the starting vision of Beard Brand. And you will see here, hopefully you can see my mouse, but my hair is uh, pretty much unstyled, uh, brush forward, and my beard is pretty, pretty big and gnarly. It's got a nice little wave in here. Uh, you'll see I, I still have kind of like thin cheeks here, thin cheeks here, and it goes out. And this was during really like my growing phase of my, my life. And at this point in my life, I was really afraid to trim my beard, uh, to go to a barber or to even do it myself. So my beard tended to look a little wild and unkempt. And my advice would be to, to probably work on the cheeks a little bit, of course, um, style the hair. And then what's going on here with uh, with my clothes, I, I don't really know. That is, a, you know, corporate business button up stuff, which is not part of my style anymore and something that I gladly have uh, donated to charity. So that's where I came from. That's kind of the starting point before I, I started evolving my style. Which brings us to this look. Uh, this video was recorded back in December 2013. And I would say that my hair was absolutely on point. I would say this might be like the best hairstyle or the one that I feel is the coolest hairstyle I ever had. You notice the hairstyle is, uh, it's slightly tapered. So it's not like a really hard uh, disconnect, very, very slight. And uh, a lot of dimension in the hair up there and then when you, I look to the side, you can see that I've got this kind of uh, mohawk going on, which adds like a lot of, in my opinion, dimension and character. Uh, and then we pair that with the style, which is a basic screen printed t-shirt and this pretty rad jacket that I really dig. I no longer have, but uh, it's kind of like a military-esque jacket. I think the hair, the jacket, the clothes are all on point where I wish I could have brought it all together is with the beard. I wish the beard was a little more groomed. I wish I kind of tidied up the edges. I wish I went to the barber. Um, it's generally a good shape uh, and the mustache is pretty good, but the mustache, I probably would have trimmed up the edges a little bit more. Uh, that would be the advice for myself. But in terms of the hairstyle, one of my favorites. So after that, we evolved and I decided to start growing my hair out. So as I started growing my hair out, this is what, two, this is only uh, a month and a half later from that last haircut. So you can see that my hair grows pretty rapidly and it was already pretty long to begin with. With my hair here, I did the same thing that I was doing with my beard, which was just to let it grow and not really trim it and have maintenance trims as I grew out. So it tended to get a little wild. I actually really love the way my hair looks in this. I love the wild, the unkempt kind of look. I wish maybe that I would just simply have trimmed up around the ears a little bit more to make it look like it was more intentional. Uh, but rocking this length during the, the grow out phase was really cool. And again, going back to the beard, I was using a blow dryer on my beard, which gives it a more straight look. And um, I get like these kind of weird under curls. You can see it when I turn to the side. And I wish I, um, again, went to the barbershop. Probably took it a little bit shorter. It would have been a little bit cooler look. I think the longer beard, for me personally, is, is not really my style. 
In regards to my fashion, man, you guys know I've been rocking uh, <laughs> basic t-shirts since uh, probably even before 2014, and it's a style I still continue to wear and rock. Uh, I love the simplicity of it. So uh, not much that I would recommend other than getting the beard a little bit tamed. So as we continue to grow out, um, you'll see that it gets even longer. What I did do here is I trimmed my beard up quite a bit. So I probably took about half the length of the beard off. And to me, it actually makes the beard look so much thicker, fuller, rounder. Paired together with this mustache and the trim on this mustache, I feel like the beard is really on point. I feel like it's got like a nice full look to it. I'm totally digging it. I haven't really gone with the blazer look and pairing the blazer with uh, with the plaid underneath is kind of like a, a bold look for me. It's not something that I continue to do. Uh, I've gone more with a minimalist type of style. In regards to the hair, I think the hair is also looking pretty cool. I think there's a lot of uh, texture, a lot of dimension. Again, during this grow out phase, I wish I just went to the barber a few more times to just like trim up the necklines, trim up the, like the, the hair over the ears and give it a little bit more purposeful look. But beyond that, I would say this is probably, uh, again, like a really cool look that I enjoyed uh, having over the years. So as my hair continued to grow out, let's take a look at this. It's getting long. And this is kind of like, for me, where the hair, it looks cool when I do something like that, where I move it to the side. But it's really hard to maintain that look. It's really hard to kind of maintain that, that texture and that dimension. And then it kind of ends up looking flat. I've taken the beard a little bit shorter, and here in June 2015, you'll see that uh, this is pretty much a natural beard for me. So I probably didn't do any work. This was probably air dry, and it gets that natural curl to it. And again, like uh, I'm a low maintenance trim guy, so uh, the beard for me has never been like on point, on fleek, as they like to say. And it's something that I, I kind of feel like. If I went a little shorter, like it could have really paired uh, the look together. In regards to the shirt, uh, you know, a classic um, pullover button up. The, the button ups actually don't go all the way down. So I feel like it's a, a pretty rad shirt and a, a basic, I don't know if the green and the, the white um, and blue really go together. Maybe I would have picked a, a different color other than green. And then of course you guys know my chain this was given to me by my, uh, it was willed down to me by my grandfather when he passed along with that watch. So uh, I have kind of like style accessories in my life that uh, mean more than actual um, style, I guess. Like it's, it's not for style purposes, it's for personal purposes that I wear. Them. Then I uh, did a big trim. So this was, uh, this was about six months after uh, this hair, uh, shortly, after uh, I just went in and, and I got my hair trimmed up. I really dig this look. This, this hair is pretty long. It, uh, if I let it go down uh, to the bangs, it goes down to about the bottom of my chin. You'll see when I look down how long that hair is. And then it kind of tapers back to a point. It's like the Viking type of haircut. And what I really like what I did with this hair style was this like kind of slight movement to the side a little bit and then leaving off like a, a little bit of the hair on this side going the opposite direction. So to me, that kind of gives a lot of dimension. I think like uh, the beard length for me really works well, uh, really looks well with the hairstyle. And then the chambray shirt. I love denim, I love chambray. I think the shirt rocks well with me. I would say like in my rankings of style, like this is probably one of my cooler styles. Uh, the challenge is with a, a longer hairstyle like that, it takes a lot more maintenance a lot more work to, to keep the style looking like that throughout the day. And then what did we do next? Ooh, we cut the hair pretty short again. So uh, June, this was March. So this was about three months after my uh, previous video. And where I said my hair went before down to here, now it goes above my eyebrows. And rather than taking the hair back, what I did is I uh, brushed the hair forward. And with this style, actually, I don't wear my hair brushed forward very frequently, but I found that this kind of gives like a, 
you know, like a college kid vibe, a little more casual vibe, um, a little more like, I would say almost like an approachable vibe. Uh, the beard, I wish I did taper up the sides a little bit more, um, but the length I think works pretty well for me. And maybe control the mustache a little bit, take the mustache a little bit shorter. But I do like the, the variety in this hairstyle. Again, going with this the shirt, the undershirt pattern I don't think really works uh, with this plaid. Uh, maybe I would have buttoned up the shirt or uh, gone with like a, a basic white t-shirt, something like that. So let's keep this train a moving and uh, whoo, all right. So from a fashion standpoint, I uh, this is one of my favorite shirts. I love this shirt. Uh, I don't wear it anymore, but uh, it fit me well. And I think it was like a, a nice little pop. But the hair, Eric, what is going on with the hair? I think uh, one of the commenters said it best. Kind of looked like you got a pineapple on your head. What I was doing here, the goal was with this hairstyle, I wanted to go back to this hairstyle. And this is the difference between barbers. Um, this cut was done by Sebastian and this cut was not done by Sebastian. And uh, what, where the problem lies, I think is, um, maybe I went a little too aggressive or, or how I described it to the barber, like I should have done a little more of the fade here and have a little bit longer hair because it, it creates this kind of pineapple shape to my hair. And, uh, you know, props to you guys uh, for calling it out. Uh, Pavlo, Vishik, and a few other people uh, really made fun of my hair here and uh, with due respect. Uh, the beard though, beard looks good. Uh, I've been rocking a, a length beard like that for a while and uh, really uh, kind of dig it. So unfortunately the, the hair, uh, you know, we all make mistakes, right? And my mistakes are shown to tens of thousands of people on the internet. So we go from uh, June, July of uh, 2016 to September. So I was continuing to, to grow it out and this was in London. I got this haircut done at uh, Cut and Grind with uh, Harry and he is an amazing barber and I was really lucky to do that. And what I love about this haircut was really cool is rather than doing like a full mohawk, I stopped the mohawk short right about here and it gave this like really cool kind of curve to it. And I would say again, like, man, this is like one of my top haircuts. I, I went uh, and did a Photoshop shortly after this. And the photos from that series done by Hannah Miles are some of my most shared likes commented on photos. So uh, really, really uh, dig this haircut and uh, the work that Harry did with it tied in with the, the very angular beard, which is not something I typically had, I think was a good style change for me to have that angular beard, the big mustache. Um, this is up there uh, with one of my best haircuts that I've ever had and not a lot of, of fault that I would have to it. The only challenge is it's pretty long and with just like a little bit more length, it starts to fall flat, it starts to kind of flop over and you'll see that uh, uh, here like is a perfect example where the hair just got a little bit more length on it and then all of a sudden it's kind of flopping over. So it, it was a hairstyle that needed a lot of, of maintenance. Now, I went from September to April. So this was a pretty big gap. The hair is pretty similar. This, this is a pretty similar haircut to uh, this hairstyle that I had here uh, with the real man is bullshit. And uh, the thing that I did here, this, this was shortly after my first beard stash. And uh, I really totally think this is unproportionate. Like the hair is way too big. The mustache is really too big. It makes my chin look tiny. And um, my jean jacket's a little bit too big. So probably what I would have done is uh, maybe just taper up my mustache a little bit or keep uh, the, the beard a little bit longer. Let's see if any of y'all in the comments called me out for that. Um, <laughs> don't listen to the single thing you said, the mustache too, please. Um, yeah, so a few people are missing the beard. And uh, overall, I think the hair looks cool, but it just, it doesn't work together with the mustache. 
Uh, here, I do think it kind of pulls together. Um, the hair is more of a swooped over look. The beard's grown out a little bit. Still a big beard, still nice disconnect, nice swoop. Uh, All together, uh, screen printed t-shirt that fits me well. And uh, I would say this overall is a good look for me and high on the list, but not exactly remarkable considering uh, the styles that I've had uh, in the past. It's pretty much just uh, an average style, uh, shorter beard, big mustache. And here's a style that you guys hopefully are a little familiar with. This is uh, the day that I recorded uh, the outro for our videos. And um, again, it's a little bit long. It gets a little floppy. I can't hold it back. So uh, the beard needs a little trim. And the mustache is, is probably a little bit too big for this uh, length beard. So I probably would recommend trimming the mustache down a little bit and maybe trimming the length of the top a little bit more. Uh, but nothing really remarkable. So three months later, I took the hair really short. I was going for a short haircut. This is kind of like a spiky hairstyle that uh, I was going with like a little bit of movement, a little bit to the side. I got this cut done in Japan. And I like the style, it's an easier haircut, lower maintenance. Um, and probably a style that was more popular in the late 90s. Um, more of a matte spiky hair. Uh, but I didn't really wear it a long time and, and again, it was just kind of a little too ordinary for me. I think it's a okay looking haircut, but nothing that really helps me stand out in the crowd. And then uh, again, this is a, a typical beard style that I have. Typical uh, plain t-shirt, nothing really crazy about that. Let's go on to what I would probably say is uh, my best look over the past six years. This is... Uh, Right after I got my hair cut by Mahesh here in, in Austin, Texas. And it's a clean fade side part with a lot of texture. This was uh, played off of what Chachi did uh, probably not too, uh, too much earlier. Uh, shorter mustache, I do feel like the beard stash, this is the best beard stash with that part. Really looks nice, really looks clean. And... Uh, Man, like I, I really think this is a style that I could always fall back onto as I get older. Of course, uh, uh, Henley shirt. And again, this was really uh, before, this was April 2018. Um, still looking a little thin. I've put on a couple pounds uh, since then. So I filled out uh, my shirts a little more and I think that helps accent this look a little bit more. And then if you give it a little more length, I guess this is uh, what you see with the beard, a little bit more length. I think even that really tight beard and this beard, they both look great. A little more volume on the hair. Love the style. And of course, you guys know I love denim. Um, I do need to get a different jacket though because this collar is doing its own thing. Which brings us up to our most recent style, which again, like a little more length, a little more volume. These are kind of like the stages of that haircut as it grew out. This was filmed in California where the air was really dry. It really, uh, using the sea salt spray and, and uh, a matte clay, it really gives me a nice hold. But I found that when I hit a humid uh, town like Austin, then I wasn't having that same kind of uh, ability to create this hairstyle. So it's almost like your hairstyle has to work in the climate that you depend. So guys, that brings me up to my current style, which is uh, this kind of like uh, 80s mullet right now. Uh, the goal is to continue growing the back of the hair a little bit longer. And uh, I just recently got a cut yesterday and the hair on the top is pretty short, which will give me some opportunity to continue to grow it out a little bit longer. And again, the sides are pretty short. I'm gonna play around with maybe adding a little more texture as I style it, maybe like twisting up uh, the tops and the tips to give it a little bit different look. But I'm gonna continue growing the mullet out, which I don't think is gonna be my best looking hairstyle. And that's kind of the interesting thing um, for me, maybe for y'all, is that I don't actually rock the look that is the best looking look. What I like to do is rock a look that is maybe uh, something that a lot of people aren't wearing or something a little avant-garde or something just like a little ahead of the curve and try to stand out a little bit from the crowd, from all the fades out there and all the, the pompadours and the quiffs and the or quaffs and all the classic buzz cut hairstyles. I do have 
my next haircut in mind after I uh, go through this mullet phase. So um, it's always fun to change up looks for me and uh, kind of uh, give you guys a little bit different look. Let me know in the comments which look is your favorite. Where do you want to go? Which hairstyle is a favorite? Which beard style is a favorite? What kind of uh, attire style do you think is a favorite? Let me know in the comments. I love reading them, whether you love it or hate it. Thanks for sticking around and watching the whole video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. And keep on growing. Thanks for watching this video. Beard Brand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.